Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, it's Saturday night. Everybody should be partying hard or sitting down relaxing, reading a good book, looking at a good picture on TV, or just chewing the fat. Or even the latter part. Looking and listening to me on the family YouTube channel. Okay? Yes, I rested all day. Had to go take the truck to the car place and get some um, oil changes that was needed. Or oil change that was needed. And let me see. Uh, that's pretty much it. I came home and chilled. Because I really wasn't feeling the best. But it just is what it is. Okay? But I, I had some things to address. I had some things to address. And this is the time that I felt like I needed to get on. That I had time to get on the tube and talk with my family, my YouTube family, about this mess going on. I thought we had got it straight. These two women don't like each other and will never like each other. More so because I feel Nene kind of look at Candy as someone she probably wanted to be in her younger years. And have all the exposure that Candy was, you know... Uh, liking to be getting and still getting and she's on the outs of a show that she felt she birthed which we know that ain't true she was just a character or a person that people gravitated to when the show came on air and yes yeah, she was doing the most because she needed to do the most because look at Nene now versus when she first started the show money changes appearances and it gives you the big head or it can give you a well-rounded view of how the other affluent people live okay but anyway i just wanted to make a quick little video because miss uh candy birds was on uh what do you call it raquel rants that T tmz had put out for her as a spinoff from when she was just doing uh, editing news and talking about celebrities and their little cubicles and this, that, and that, this, that, and the third. And uh, now they gave her a little platform where she interviews uh, celebrities or reality stars that want to come on her platform and give their just due on what's happening out in the streets, okay? But child, Raquel asked Candy, have she talked to Nene or seen Nene? I said, okay, way to go for the shade, gone for the juggler so we can get it out. But this, whatever it is between her and Nene, I just wish Candy just stopped talking about it. I mean, it's very obviously that they do not see each other. They see each other, but then they really don't see each other, okay? Because Nene wants, and I really feel Candy's position when it comes to being in Bravo and Bravo listening to her and Bravo liking her and Bravo taking in what candy says and really you know si sifting through to see is this a doable thing of what she's saying and you know candy is non-threatening she's not aggressive and she goes in with a game plan uh she probably go up go up there with them flow charts and <laughs> <laughs> the projector screens, the marketing, how the demographics or whatever she's trying to put Bravo to get behind on a project she's working on. You know, she probably go in gangbusters, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't mad of it because marketing one-on-one, -on -one, you want to get them where they can't help but say, damn, we need that and we need her on our team. So don't be surprised now, like I said, when things settle. And Bravo want to make up some shake up, some, you know, whatever. Candy slides into another position, but she's under the umbrella still of uh, Bravo. Okay, entertainment. So, it just is what it is. Got to be patient. Got to wait, okay? But, honey, baby, <laughs> they said, or she said, meaning Candy, said Nene called her a racial slur. I don't know where this word keep coming around him, coon. You know, not K-U-M, like coon by y'all. No, I'm talking about this K-O-N-N. -N. Oh, no, I'm sorry. K-O-O-N. You know, language. It, and it's being used against our own, just like that ninja thing. But I'm like, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, because Candy is not no light-skinned chick looking half white. You know, and... You know, it's the difference between the field ninjas and the house ninjas. You know what I'm saying? Usually, they be very, very light-skinned, damn near white. Okay? But I guess you can have a darker complexed person uh, seemingly, okay? And I say that seemingly with some oomph on it, 
taking information back. But see, you really can't say too much because Nene did it to herself. Whether people want to believe it or not, she got the big kid, called herself going out there to, uh, I don't know how that got in there, y'all, Kim Kardashian, but I think I was working on something. You know, like I said, I can't hardly read the stuff when it be in another format. And it be so small. And when I'm putting my videos, load my videos, sometimes it just don't get, you know, uh, what do you call it? Cohesive. <laughs> so these are other stories that I'm working on. So bear with me, bear with me. Bear with your auntie. Okay, your cousin, your grandma, your mama. You, you, however y'all see me. Okay, bear with me. But y'all remember uh, they were fussing on some reunion and, and Candace said I'm going to be embedded in your motherfucking brain bitch I was like oh my god that was a good tagline they should have made a t-shirt I would have bought that one <laughs> but they both are from Atlanta Georgia Candy Moore so born and bred alright Nene she comes from somewhere out of town then she comes from way by way of Athens, Georgia, living with her aunt, grandmama, I don't know, don't care really, okay, but she's found herself in Atlanta and growing up, all right, so, uh, I think it's just a lot of Nene being unhappy at this time, and she's faking till she make it, uh, which sometimes can be a good thing and sometimes not such a good thing, but like I said, you know, grieving process can take, you know, a couple of years, a couple of months, you know, however, it could take a lifetime just depending on where you're at or where you want to be at but you're just not there you know what i'm saying because a lot of people say get over get over get over but not necessarily getting over it totally that you're forgetting them and you're forgetting your feelings but to make it easy on yourself because that person has gone on to glory and um uh, living a best life you know, on another plane of existence, and we're here, and we just got to remember that, you know, God gives us gifts, as in people form, and we need to treasure them, and when they're gone, they're gone, but don't forget them, in a sense, because that is your keepsake, you know how people put different um, tokens, like bracelets, and it has, you know, your birth date or a picture or something symbolizing some person that you like or you know your favorite person as being in a, a dog form or animal form and you're gonna always look at that and you're gonna have good memories and that's what our memory is for you know until we get dementia and we lose sight of all of that but that's not a here nor there well uh, the very bring it home is what i'm trying to say is you're never gonna change nene nene has that kind of Jekyll and Hyde spirit about her and she felt she was due to owe something but Nene just didn't understand it sometimes you can't speak your mind in public platforms that may get you in trouble down the road I mean it was cute and it was wholesome when she was saying you know she that was her baby Real Housewives of Atlanta she made it she did that you know all that kind of shit when actually if you don't have the power or the backing for us financially to push a project into fruition. It's not your baby. You know what I'm saying? Nene, you didn't put in, you know, like I said, you got five on it when we're trying to get this weed or whatever. Or this bottle of wine so we can get wasted and feel good or whatever. Uh, what we used to do in the high school days. All right. But uh, <laughs> you didn't put money in it, Nene. So you can't say, ooh. This is your baby. This is something you work hard for. Da 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 da. No, people liked it. Your energy. They liked it. Your uh, perspectives, and they liked to see you clown because you were really entertainment for us. To tell you the truth, but um, other people came in. And we knew Candy from uh, the uh, group of skate. Now, we, if you want to make us believe she was something bigger in the group than a background singer. But, you know, the sister could produce. She could write. And those are very good talents that, you know, when your voice is gone or whatnot, you can still put that pen to that paper and, you know, write hits and make money off of it. But Candy's still under the pressure that she can sing. And she don't understand that's one of her weak points. But we're going to keep her in stride, you know. Keep doing what you're doing, Candy, but just let that uh, voice and music thing that you try to get, 
and put out just just write the songs and sell them to uh, famous uh celebrities that can sing not sing but sing okay because you only have two people two groups of people people that have trained their voice to become a good singer and performer and the ones that god gave them a gift you know what i'm saying to sing in every type of range there was it's god given and then it's time you can definitely train yourself to uh sing real well and can you don't follow neither one of those categories but you can damn sure write your ass out so don't feel bad about the vocals just get that pen and piece of paper and make that money okay you don't always have to be seen but you can be heard through your writing okay because they always say who wrote this who composed this and you know you get your money that way and you get residual of other people come in if you did your contract right you can probably get residuals out that artist making your song a hit you see what i'm saying but you should know about that but moving on <sighs> i'm just so tired of these two fighting you know like it's like the old school versus the new school and i'm like can ain't too far from being in the old school section either because she's 40 by the time she blinks she's gonna be 50 they're gonna start calling her season but it doesn't matter because i've seen some beautiful you know black women in their 70s and they look in boss i mean the body is like bang you know and they're taking care of themselves and you know, ooh, just sculpturing their body, their spirit, and their mind. It's just everything. So that's something if Candy don't learn now, she should learn. And just not pay attention. Pay Nene does. Because Candy was sitting up there trying to tell us that her and a friend was somewhere on a beach or I don't know what it was. But she recognized Nene. You know, from afar, you know, they weren't that far now. But she noticed that with Nene, and she know that with Nene knew boo. She been flaunting around there, probably yawning. And um, Nene, she called out to Nene. Nene looked back, glanced for a minute, and then went on by her way. <laughs> like, I don't know you. I don't know you, girl. Did I touch you? Did y'all get really up close? And she was just paying um, Nene. I mean, Nene was just paying Candy dust. And Candy felt some kind of way. I'm like, ain't nowhere in the world. I would have played that like that. Me? She didn't act like she saw me. I would have just traced my butt up there <coughs> until I caught up with her. And we would have had a conversation. <coughs> it wouldn't have been rude or anything. I was like, Nene, I called. Oh, uh, to you way back yonder you didn't see me girl you didn't hear me girl i just want to make sure because you know in case anything happened we both out here and we both know each other you know i can you know um uh, you know just we, we need to be kosher with each other because we never know traveling's getting kind of rough out here i may need you you may need me and i just want to say hey and maybe we can have dinner if we're both going to be here for a while you know something like that and then if she just would have looked at me and walked on then it would have been you know another thing and then i probably would have came on social media and dragged the hell out of her but it just is what it is but yeah let's see let's let candy tell us though but I found that, you know, very immature of Nene. But Nene does that. Nene is known in Atlanta to be rude, to be less of uh, hospitable. And it just is what it is. She don't act it up in the airport. She don't act it up, in, you know, in a, a beauty supply store. She's just evil. And that's before Greg had passed. But this is, she's just taking it out on everybody because she didn't become that Hollywood actress and got into the game of much, much more money, okay? But who fault was it? Nina, you should have trained yourself. You should have kept on with your coach, your coaching, acting coach. Acting coach, you know, because I'm sure Candy got one, and now Candy's doing all the things that you wanted to do, and you're not privy to do because I'm about to want to work with you and wonder why. It's that mouth, Nene. It's that attitude. But let's go on into what uh, Candy was telling Raquel on her platform. No. No, oh, because I see. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I I didn't know if she tried to congratulate you on the show. Girl, you know, you know she didn't do that. You know she didn't do that. If anything, it's the exact opposite. I don't even understand what be going on with Nene, for real, for real. Like, you know, last time we actually, I reached out to her was when, you know, her um, great, great passed away. And obviously, he was a great man. All of us missed him. So, of course, you know, I reached out or whatever. But then, after that, 
I guess, you know, when we saw each other again, I saw her. In Bahamas. Um, yeah, she ain't speak. <laughs> what? She didn't speak. I, I, I don't know. Nah, I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. Maybe she didn't know it was me. Yeah. But <laughs> it was me. My family, we walking on the way. We was like a distance away. And I saw her and her boo. It was walking. I said, hey, Nene. And I said her name again. She stopped. She looked. And then she turned around and kept walking. I said, Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. And then... The other day, you know, everybody on the internet posted, I guess, like, her fans said something about, you know, our show, whatever, mm-hmm. and she kind of responded, and it came off as very shady, which I always think is so stupid. It's like, even if we don't get along the best, I'm never going to, like, hate on nothing she got going on. Like, in the past, when we didn't always wasn't on the same turn, when she had her show, I posted and told people to watch it. But I don't get that same energy, and mm. I'm good on that. <laughs> okay, so if Nene come back, then the housewives, then I don't care. But she, you, you'll stay if Nene come back. She's never done anything to me that sh- ruined my life. Like to me, it's a difference of if me and you don't really care for each other, we disagree. Like to me, yeah, that happens all the time on a, on the show. Like me and her can disagree all day long. And, you know, I, I don't care because I know that's a part of what happens on Real Housewives. But to me, when you actually try to do something that defames me and tear down everything that I've worked for <laughs> in secret and you doing it behind the scenes trying to get people to do your that that was a whole different, I can't yeah. even deal with that. That's why I was like, yeah, I'm good on that. The other, the other situation you talked about. Yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, but with Nene, it's like we don't necessarily care for each other. But I mean, I, but why don't like, you like what we're really like? What's I don't the, know what her problem is with me. You know, like seriously, I've seen her say all kind of stuff. Like she was, uh, what she she tried to she called me this this right here pissed me the fuck off. Oh wait, can you say yeah that? yeah go do you? Yeah, that shit pissed me the fuck off when she was um she said somewhere call me a coon or something like what. Like that right there. That's uh, when I was like, okay. But yeah. how can you even? What? How? How? A, a black woman calling another black woman that? How? I don't know whatever's going on Maybe. with her situation with the network. I, I, you know, that's to me. Did that's, you ask her? Did you ask for her? What? Because that's so for, far for crazy. What? Like, like if, why would you say that type we, of thing? If we don't communicate, and those are the type of things that you put out in the atmosphere. I don't need to waste my time talking to you anymore. That's just how I feel about it. But at the end of the day... But what, but what would you, in your right mind, though, like, why would you even go there? I don't even understand. I what did, did you not make her? What did you, what did you do? I didn't do nothing to her. And that's the, <laughs> that's the crazy thing. Like, I think she was having her own issues with the network, right? And that was very public or whatever. But I don't know if because I have a better relationship with them she had negative things to say about me like took that negative energy towards me and i'm like you know i see things that her fans say like they they act as if i stopped her opportunity or something like or like you know like i see them say stuff like oh you know like me having a show like that should have been her show. why does me having a show do mean anything against her like she can still have her own thing and i got my own thing like me doing what i do is not blocking any of your blessings like whatever you got going on that's what you got going on i ain't told nobody to stop nothing for her so i don't know why she gives me the energy as if i done tried to stop something that she got going on and i'm like i, I am not that powerful even though i know some people try to put it out there like i may be possibly have that type of power I've never stopped nothing, tried to stop nothing that she got going on, so I don't know why mm. her and her people be coming at me with all that mess. I normally don't even address it. Like, realistically, I think that's the only time publicly I've even talked about that. Um, but it's annoying. It's annoying as well, especially when you say things like using the coon term towards me because if nothing else, I was like, realistically... I'm the only one out of them that even still lives in a majority black community. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one that put businesses in black communities to bring more jobs to black people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to make ways for us all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, like whether it be 
trying to do jobs with programs that work with people out of the prison system to help them get back into the, you know, life with careers because we know a lot of people don't want to provide jobs for people out of prison, you know yeah. what I mean? Or whether it be, you know, putting on Broadway when I um, I was one of the producers of Thoughts of a Color Man. First time ever to get a black production with a black director, black all producing team, black writer, and starring all black men on Broadway. Like, stuff like that is important to me. So when she used that term towards me, who told you that though? It was on the gram. Oh. It was on the gram. Oh. <laughs> on the gram. So I was just like, oh my Lord, I cannot. You know what I mean? And that's why I, you know, at the same time, um, like I said, we don't care for each other, but you, when you ask me would I have well, a problem if she came back, I, I don't have a problem. I mean, I'm sure we probably would have to address it if she did, but it would be what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy because I never even knew it was that bad. Like, I didn't even know that they were calling. stupid. Yeah. I don't even be online calling her out her name. I don't even, it's just like stupid. But you still showed her love, though, with, you know, the passing. Well, obviously, because at the end of the day, regardless of whatever me and her dramas are, Greg always was like the mediator. He was always the person that would get everybody on the same page, even because, you know, she and I have had arguments on and off since we first met. But Greg was just a really, really stand up guy. Great man. And I know how long they have been together and anybody is going to have compassion for her losing him. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yes, I felt, you know, I, I reached out because I have lots of love for Greg. And regardless of whatever she and I go through, I do not want to see her in that type of pain. Mm -hmm. That's simple as that. Well, what do you feel about her just jumping and getting a new honey, like, you know, not too long after the situation? Uh, I don't think people should tell people how to grieve. Yeah. You know what I mean? So my thing is, it's like, she's she's been going through the process of Greg being sick for a very long time. We don't know what her and Greg talked about. Mm -hmm. You don't ever know. Like, he could have gave her his blessing. We don't know. Well, you know you what know I mean? What I, I actually interviewed her. I know they, they were sleeping in two different places back yeah, they, a couple they of years did, ago. They, deal with so. whatever, they dealt with whatever they dealt with personally, and that's my point like we don't know where she was in her relationship we don't know any of that mm -hmm. so i don't think it's fair for you know anybody to say oh she moving on too quick quick and you know what i'm saying you like, ever get tired of get, being married and stuff at time like you ever get tired of looking ah! tired, you're like you know what Todd? i want to no no okay and the rest was just like blah 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 <clears throat> but like I said, I don't know why I can't keep addressing the whole thing with Nene. I just think Nene just feels her opportunity uh, had passed her by. But uh, Nene don't want to take accountability for her mouth going in overtime and overdrive. And <clears throat> she basically shitted on her uh, company that paid her and paid her very well because i think nini was probably one of the top ones uh even over candy at the time but you know she got lesser and lesser uh what do you call it uh, um i can't think of the word i want to say so i'll just say this uh she lost some of her um presence or her her likability, for lack of a better word, with the company. Because they saw her as a monster uh, going towards towards the end after she went to California. And it didn't work out for her. And she had to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they let her in, open arms and everything. And then she just really started going really berserko. Saying they need to pay her this, that, and third. She wanted a seat at the board table. And <laughs> I know she's going to be like, live it. And then you might well just let her pass out and put her in the hospital somewhere. Because if Candy gets, uh, like I said, a seat on their little board. Or she gets another title, like creative director, behind the scenes of Bravo. Girl, and then you're going to be mad as hell. But again, you can't expect to defecate on your employees. 
and then think they're going to and also try to sue them and call them all these different names even their host andy cohen you know you threw him up under the uh burial ground okay you flatten him out at least 20 feet it's six feet for normal but you gone and gave him 20 feet well you didn't want to have no residue of him being ever shown so and then you tried to nice nasty him by saying what you did for him monetarily like he really needed your money i, I believe annie has more money than you need me so it's just like Nene just got a big head and just kept swelling, 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 swelling to it finally popped. And this is where she's at. Okay. Because some things you just don't let the public know about your job or your employer, especially if you want to uh, be seen still working for them. You know, you just have to be a little bit more creative. And, and, and you know, I ain't going to say have their heads in a loophole but you know i'm sure you saw some things and you should have been taking notes you know like most people do if they want to get somebody by the balls as they say it but like i said it just is what it is but i really wish people stop asking candy and candy stop talking about nene because you know how she shut people down when it comes to phaedra well she she shut shits down she don't want to talk about that no more uh and like i said uh candy is not going to leave real housewives of atlanta until they forces her out uh by giving her like a friend of the show but no i can't she'll probably say i take it <laughs> lisa is still income coming in to further her other projects that she wants to uh maintain or she wants to develop so you got a steady income that's coming in or whatever kind of income is coming in, it's paying for something. You know what I'm saying? Then can't have a YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So she has that revenue coming in. I don't know what happened to Nene's YouTube channel, but she definitely could have used it. And she would have got monetized if she, you know, overnight probably because of her followers. You know, they want to see what she has to say. They want to see what she's doing. This, that, and the third. But right now, she's just in a very, very... A negative spot and a negative place and she don't know how to get out of it but she got to stop being prideful she got to admit to certain things that that she did that wasn't a good look and you know she may be blackballed but i don't think she's no i was mad when they tried to call themselves blackballing monique the comedian and actress uh on speaking on certain things you know about producing or uh what do you call it uh going out and uh speaking on a, a film or a movie she was in um uh, i don't forget the word that you call it but uh promoting is what i was looking for and you know she had a right to say if they ain't gonna pay her then i ain't finna promote nothing either you know they should have been in her contract should have been very well uh, cemented in her contract where it was readable on both parts but she, uh, Monique said she didn't get that they didn't put it in there and she wasn't gonna do nothing about it and that was cool but um Nene is just uh she just did everything too vocally and in the public and tried to get public opinion to be on her side but what she was coming with was just too much you know what I'm saying just too much so like I said Zeus Network is always over there always over there for nene because nene don't want to do the work she don't want to go back to school far as learning how to be an actress she don't want to get an acting coach she just want to ad lib everything when i say ad lib you, you just basically like reality tv you say whatever come out your mouth depending on how you're feeling about that that situation that you're in but uh yeah that's all i had for this video guys i was letting y'all know they still battling it out and nene still being nasty out there uh not wanting to say hey to people i'm like girl you ain't john rivers girl you need to stop that mess then she wanted to be a comedian and i'm like when is nene ever funny she got those one-liners but nene ain't that dang that uh, -uh. she ain't funny at all but that's all I have for this guy's uh, video, guys. If y'all like it, love, gotta have more. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and uh, share and like my videos. And let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Celebrate every time we come over here and, and sit and cock a squat. And sit down and talk to each other about certain things that's happening out there in our uh, world. And also, I don't know what's going on. You know how YouTube is. 
they be messing with stuff. So if you find yourself unsubscribed to me and you didn't want to unsubscribe to me, make sure you resubscribe. Because I'm like, they playing with me again, y'all. They keep playing with every YouTuber. They go through certain purges of uh, accounts. And they do what they want to do. And they might think it's a dummy account. And they take that subscriber from you and all that. So keep your girl. Numbers rising high. And me being shared out so we could, our family can grow over here, okay? That's what I'm talking about. But that's all I had, guys. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.